Hi everyone. Today is the last day of our 14 day video series on handling coronavirus anxiety. This is Sindhu from Aware Mental Health. Thank you for sticking with me for the last 14 days. I have enjoyed making these videos and forming this content for you. One disappointing factor in the last 14 days of our videos together is that there hasn't been any positive news surrounding the corona crisis. The numbers are increasing every day and we haven't come across any scientific breakthroughs so far. Having said this, let's slow down for a second and look at what history can tell us in terms of how life has been like after a pandemic is over. Fortunately, better outcomes and more helpful outcomes have come about after a pandemic is over. Let's look at the 14th century plague as an example. I mean, that was devastating. It wiped out millions of people. I think like half of Europe's population got wiped out after the plague was over, after Black Death was over. But you see that after this, people's dietary choices improved greatly. People started to eat better quality bread, which ultimately led to better health and better resistance. Let's take the 19th century cholera epidemic example. After the epidemic was over, it actually led to modern systems of clean drinking water, so thereby improving hygiene for all of us. So this tells us that if we can take some wisdom from history, we learn that the humankind becomes healthier and improves on sanitary measures after the pandemic is over. Let's hold on to that piece of information and hope for a more wise, more healthy, more clean future as we go along. The last piece of information I want to share before we end the video comes from my role as a therapist. Let me introduce you to an interesting fact. If you look at psychology experiments, you see that generally experiments happen on rats and mouses. The reason for picking a rat as the choice of animal for studying some psychology concepts is because a rat is a social being just like a human being. And interestingly, when researchers want to study depression, they don't go and look for depressed rats. They pick out typically behaving rats and what they do is they pick out a group of rats and they separate one rat from the rest of the rats. So they keep this rat isolated. And within a few days, within four or five days, you see all the signs of depression in this isolated rat from lack of appetite to sleep issues, low energy, low mood, all of those things. And don't you wonder that this is where we are headed right now. We are forced into isolation for a good reason, of course, but being in isolation through psychology experiments have shown us that it can lead to some symptoms of depression like this. So even after the pandemic is over, you might notice yourself finding uh, yourself in this constant low mood or constant low in energy, sleep issues, appetite issues. And if you're noticing some of these symptoms, please seek help. Therapy is such a helpful context to work on yourself, to work on some of those really self-limiting, self-loathing, difficult thoughts and feelings that get in the way of living a more fulfilling life for all of us. My website's tagline is in fact, seeking help is a sign of strength. And I truly believe that. I truly believe that when you look out for help from a fellow human being, that's a big sign of strength. With neuroscience increasing rapidly in the last uh, few years, you actually see that therapy is like a cool laboratory setting where you are developing, reshaping and strengthening new neural connections that of course promote 
much more improved psychological well-being, much more improved psychological flexibility and of course life satisfaction. I find it super cool that through good quality therapy you can actually change your own brain. I'm leaving you with this. Thank you so much once again for watching all my videos and supporting me and encouraging me to do more work. Wishing all of us more resilience and more flexibility to handle this crisis as we go along. Bye.